guys, it's Sarah, and welcome to a new challenge video. This last week, I decided to challenge myself to not look in the mirror for an entire week. As you will find out, originally I started out really fun and then turned horrible. <laughs> It was not a fun week, honestly, and I feel like I'm still recovering. Before we get started, please give this video a big thumbs up and share it. Also, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Become a member of the Flower Family. I do have a video that I recorded in the middle of this challenge week where I just talked to you guys in a very vulnerable state. Honestly, I kinda had a breakdown. So I will make sure to be linking that video below in the description and in the eye above. With all of that said, let's get into the video. Let's hop right into the video. All right, it is day one and I've already failed. It's gonna be really hard. I really didn't think that it was going to be that hard. Looks like it's going to be. Let me show you guys what I'm up against. I have this mirror here that is a full body mirror. I also have the mirror here in the bathroom. You can see pretty much most of my body. It's gonna be hard, I think. I'm gonna take this one down. I'm thinking about covering half of that one. That way I can, you know, make sure my face is okay, my hair, whatever, clean my face. But as far as like shoulders and down, I will see if I can just cover with like a poster board or something. I almost forgot I have a mirror, a full length mirror in my office. So I'm gonna have to take this one down too. There is one more mirror in our house other than another bathroom mirror. So there's this one and there's this one right here. I'm getting ready to go to the gym. For today's workout, I'm actually doing a cycling class. I'm super nervous about it. I've actually never done one, so it's probably really fun. Now, because of this, I figured there's no jumping involved, running involved, anything like that. So I could actually wear some of my leggings that I never get to wear anymore because they fall down the moment I start running, doing jumping jacks or anything that takes a lot of full body movement. Anyways, because they're too big, I just could not help myself. And I looked in the mirror because I wanted to make sure if they looked okay and they didn't look baggy or anything they felt fine <sighs> I'm gonna take down these mirrors right now I just got done working out and I talked to my husband on the phone and he decided to take this challenge to a whole nother level he thinks that we should cover all of the mirrors and just have zero mirrors all week no mirrors. Honestly, it gave me a little bit of something. Like, I don't want to say anxiety, but just a little bit of like, mm, like zero mirrors. Excuse me? The other thing is that I cannot take any selfies. I cannot film myself like this where I can see myself. Nothing. I cannot see myself. I cannot see myself at all which is gonna be crazy. So this is the last video of me that you're gonna see using the front-facing camera. Any video after that will only be filming with the back camera and I cannot look at it until the week is over. So far, it has only been like half a day and honestly, I'm not liking it. Hey, this is day two without a mirror and honestly, I'm failing you guys. I'm really failing. I'm using the back part of my camera right now, but I'm gonna be real with you. I did look at myself through the front camera for probably the first 30 seconds to a minute just trying to like I don't know straighten my hair I just got out of the shower I have no idea what I look like oh this is driving me nuts I don't like it I'm still not doing very good I didn't get a good sleep last night I decided to look up body dysmorphic disorder so I don't know it just it just consumed my thoughts last night made it really hard for me to sleep I'm realizing how much I actually look in the mirror and I don't think that's healthy which is the reason why I started this because I was starting to think that maybe it was getting to an unhealthy point I thought oh you know I'll just challenge myself and not look in the mirror and it won't be a big deal but it is serving to be a lot harder than I thought it was going to be and there's a lot of soul searching going on and self-analyzing let's see I don't know how I'm gonna do this normally I'd be able to tell what's in frame and what's not and I can't right now so it's kind of driving me nuts it's really hard to explain how I'm feeling right now I'm kind of feeling anxious it is taking everything in me to not look at what I look like using like my phone. But I'm trying to be strict on myself because the last few days have really, I guess, shined a light on some pretty hard emotional stuff. It's hard and it sucks. 
but I really want to work through it. So I'm trying to take this as serious as possible. You know, it's kind of not a fun challenge anymore. I thought it was going to be a fun challenge and it's really not. Hey guys, it is day five of no mirrors. I got up this morning, headed straight to the gym, worked out with a friend, and now I am back in the car and I need to bring Briola to a doctor's appointment, all that kind of stuff. So we have a very, very busy day. Yesterday I was feeling extremely anxious about today, thinking it was going to be really hard to leave the house and I was going to have a very difficult time with everything. Surprisingly, I don't know if it's just because it was so early or what, yesterday I filmed a video about body dysmorphic disorder and I think just talking talking through everything. I've been talking through it with my husband and I've been talking through it with some very close friends of mine. And then I also filmed and talked through it with you guys. This morning, I woke up and I felt a little anxious getting dressed. Like I didn't want to go anywhere. But at the same time, I got to a point where I was like, well, I gotta go. I don't know if I'm just having a good day. Everything seems like it's pretty good. It's complete contrast to yesterday. Such a 180 compared to yesterday. So far, it's been great. I had a great workout. There was a moment I got to the class that I was taking. The class was so full that look at where I had to be. I had to be right in front of the mirror. I'm like, oh my goodness. All week I've been trying not to look in the mirror and here I am right in front of the big giant mirror. That was kind of hard. I just have to point out that I walked out of the house without thinking about looking in the mirror until just now, <laughs> but I'm doing good. All right, so it is the end of night five. It has been a really good day. I have had moments where I really wanted to look in the mirror. My husband was home, so he was able to tell me how I looked and all that kind of stuff, so that was really nice. And it's just a matter of trust, really. Day five has been successful. I'm really happy to say that, it's so awesome. It's Sunday and I need to go to church and I'm gonna be talking to a lot of people and it is driving me nuts. I have no idea if I look okay or not. I'm like freaking out and so I thought like vlogging would help me feel better. I don't know why. It's fun having a picnic. It is fun having I never a had a picnic before. Not like this, huh? the last day I wanted to film my natural reaction to looking in the mirror for the first time in like a week minus any little reflection kind of stuff that has happened that you guys have seen throughout the week but I mean really looking at myself I don't think I thought any different about myself I think at first glance I was immediately like oh like you look really good <laughs> and then the more i looked at myself then all those other thoughts came back and so yeah since that pretty much wraps up the week let's go ahead and just go to the end card and that was my week you guys i hope you enjoyed it finishing up this challenge and going forward we are not just putting up all of our mirrors and just pretending like this whole thing didn't happen i am actually taking steps to still not look in the mirror as often we are not hanging up any of our other normal mirrors but we did take down the sheets in the bathrooms I am still journaling and soul searching about this whole experience really just trying to figure out what was going on with me why was this something that was so difficult and in general where do I go from here let me know in the comments below if this is something that you would try to do if you do decide to go without mirrors let me know how it goes keep me posted shout out to today's commenter thank you so much for commenting if you would like to be featured in my next video make sure to leave a comment below and you might get picked again you guys don't forget to check out the eye above for all the fun little goodies I have for you along with the description below I hope you all have a wonderful day and remember be you and be love including to yourself and I'll see you guys next time bye